Good afternoon, Mr. President. You got a big news for our viewers. You accepted role in the Czech National Economic Council, so-called NERV, the last uh, the last week. What does it mean for Czech Chamber of Commerce, actually? Well, uh, hello everybody. First of all, uh, second uh, National Economic Council has been created uh, one by one of the previous governments already. It has been now revitalized as a, as a um, group of people from academia, from business, with the participation of members of the government to discuss uh, the overall situation. How do we see the measures, uh, especially the economic measures uh, by the government reacting to the pandemia? Uh, what kind of measures do we accept? What kind of do we criticize them? Also, uh, what are our suggestions? And I must say that um, I was a little bit surprised, frankly, I'm always aware when there is some big body of 16 people plus five or six members of the government in one room or even worse on one of Webex uh, the video conference. And I must say, including the acting of Prime Minister Babish, who was very active, who took the notes, didn't participate only formally, but very actively, that it, the meeting was much better than I expected. Which is the good news, actually. It, it was the first meeting, let's see, to the future. Well, the next meeting you had last uh, week was also important. You met uh, our epidemiologists, the people who are uh, creating the numbers and statistics and observations uh, and researches that finally influence uh, all the government steps. Uh, so w what was the goal of meeting them in, in such a direct contact? Yes. Well, the main reason was that we were to some extent unhappy with the way how the government plans or planned and so far still plans reopening and restart of those businesses in the Czech Republic which has to close from one day to the other. I mean businesses from tourism, restaurants, hotels, uh, small shops on the street, etc. Uh, we believe the plan in five periods to be rather conservative given the development of the numbers. There are some inconsistencies, even absurdities. I think that the viewers and listeners are aware of those absurdities because they were heavily discussed in the press and on the social network. But talking to the governments, we of course hear that they have to act according to the recommendations of, of the epidemiologists. So we said, hold on, why don't we try to establish a direct link? And I'm, I'm very glad that we had the, the top epidemiologist from, from this country who speak to the government on the meeting here on our, in our chamber at the premises in Prague. I yesterday also met Professor Dušek, who is the head of the Institute for uh, Health uh, Information in Brno, who is building the basic model. And they gave us the explanation of their approach. First, they were indeed uh, very worried at the outbreak of the virus, that this can be indeed very dangerous and that can lead to the spread of the virus, which would indeed shake up completely our country. Uh, they were afraid of much larger cases, which would imply larger case of the very heavy cases and of course the large number of, of the deaths. The second, what, what did they say? Be please a little bit careful. Now give us some time before we evaluate the influence of Easter. Mm -hmm. Because on, during Easter, people got together much more than in the previous weeks. And uh, this virus is, is not a nice thing. They have a long incubation period. So uh, they need to have at least another two weeks to, to evaluate and to see whether such a uh, little bit opening up uh, indeed leads to the, to the more difficult, uh, uh, difficult number of the cases. Third, they said, we still believe that uh, we are behind the worst, that the number of the cases in the short term or medium term of the next month is going down and we can expect the opening. Mm -hmm. So the first or the second and the third message are relatively good. What was for me more problematic? Because from the third message, we can expect also some economic restart and we hope in it, including the industrial companies, uh, the big automotive factories, etc. But they are very careful, very careful in the long run. They are afraid of the virus coming back. 
they are afraid that even when it is clear that the, the that some explosion of the virus has been prevented still we might face the situation then it will be impossible to organize a large heavy metal rock group concert or big uh, f soccer matches etc so in this respect the last message was not so optimistic but uh, they they were very careful in, 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 in presenting the results. So what I'm saying is my interpretation of what I have heard, not direct quoting of, of what they have said. But in general, Chamber of Commerce is very thankful that we have developed, and probably as only representative of the business sector, we have developed now the direct link to the epidemiologist, and we agreed, and again, many thanks for that, that we are going to meet regularly within a week or 10 days. Well, hopefully we will have more and more positive messages also probably i have to throw away my tickets for aerosmith uh, mega concert planned in june i think well june uh, i'm uh, surprised that you haven't thrown them away already <laughs> a long time ago i just keep them for the memory yeah <laughs> okay so, so let's see the next week we'll meet with our viewers again and tell you something about the progress. Okay, and all the best, keep strong and healthy.